Hey tankers, Hardy Good Eyes here and today we're going to be taking a look at this vehicle, the SDA2 in the buff form after the update 1.12, right? So the update 1.12 will be buff 4 of the premium tank uh, which is the American Super Perching, the American medium tank, the SDG Guard, the Soviet medium tank, the T-34-3, the Chinese medium tank and this vehicle, the Japanese medium tank, the, the STA-2, right? So, uh, what did they change about this tank? They increased the gun handling of this vehicle. So, the aim time of this vehicle is down from 2.1 second down to 1.9. And they actually buffed the dispersion value of this vehicle as well. Uh, from 0 0.37 down to 0.35 which is wow that's really good this means that this tank can snapshot better right but that is not the highlight of the buff i would say uh the highlight of the buff is the view range they increase the view range of this tank from 380 base view range up to 400 yes 20 meters more view range so what did that give us? What 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 change, right? What what change? Increase 20 meters? Then what? What is it gonna give? Are you gonna spot better? Well, yes, if you are willing to use the same equipment that you used to use on this vehicle. However, no, I change. I try to create something different for the tank. So now I use the turbocharger on this tank. So this vehicle not just it can be able to uh, to shoot more accurately but now you can see further and then it can move faster as well all right so let me take a little bit uh, a little bit of the gameplay right here look i just aim to the t30 t54 lightweight right here but um i'm not firing right well because of what well because he doesn't seem to notice that he is spotted or maybe he doesn't have view range or something, right? So at that point of the time, I feel like, okay, maybe it's better to just hold your shell and wait for your friend to hit him first because if he just fire, if I just fire at him, what happened? What happened is he would just pull back, right? He would just pull back behind the bridge and, and then he would just disappear, right? But if you wait until our friends actually fire first then we can be able to possibly maybe kill him in the single blow well i don't know but we could possibly do more damage to him there right there so uh that's the you know sometimes you don't have to just fire immediately if you if you spot something right and look at that super perching he's been buffed as well sounds like that player is tasting his brand new super perching right how about that okay i'll try to shoot right to the butt of the vehicle all right so yeah, uh, I use turbocharger on this tank right now, so to enhance the speed. This vehicle now have 60 top speed, right? Which is, oh yeah, that's a light tank level top speed right there. And look, look at that accuracy buffed as well, right? We can be able to just snapshot through. But the turbocharger is actually really good in that situation as well. Oh, you might be wondering, okay, I'm not like moving or racing around. Why, why? Why the turbocharger will help? Because the turbocharger actually helps you reverse speed, so I reverse around there faster, right? Okay, here's also a thing, the object 257. I feel like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna pen him with AP round, so I load the heat there, and then he just moved through the fence, then I can't shoot through the fence, right? But look at that buff accuracy right now. The dispersion value of this vehicle has been buffed, right? And that gives me the ability to just snap right through the back of the turret of the 257 and well that's rng of course that rng base but it doesn't mean that we can't do it right it, it of course that you are more likely are uh, going to hit that shells right so oh, of course that's a really really nice buff there it's a really nice buff right and like look the turbocharger will give me more traverse speed better reverse speed or better top speed so it's not just like we, we, we are not looking to it just the just, just top speed buff right there the ability for me to just use this exact position to just move left right and center move around here is 
it's really important, right? We pull back behind the bridge, three kilometer per hour faster. That's that, that's really really nice. And then now we're driving down the slope at 60 km per hour top speed, which is and Charles Road 5 km per hour better. And then okay. Like my plan is to get myself to the back right there. So we can be able to snap the uh, the, the defender on the back, which is the thing that we want to use, right? Look, look at this speed. I can't believe the SDB1, sorry, the SDB2 can, can go this fast. I would love to use the turbocharger on the SDB1 as well, but I feel like... Oh, I digress right there. Okay, I digress. I'm not going to talk about SDB1. I mean, we are here to talk about the SDA2, right? Now we are here to talk about the SDA2. Alright, SPG spotted. We, we still have the view range to spot SPG at the edge of our view range right there, right? And then that accurately, just a tiny little bit of forehead, we can be able to shoot him. Well, SPG tried to shoot me there, but well, that's why we keep our hit point to the end of the battle, right? And we can just snap the shells in with a good red fiber tank. I can be able to shoot again. And wow, this vehicle is just beautiful. I love this tank even before uh, Wargaming buffed the tank. And after they buff it, oh, this vehicle is crazy. It's one of the uh, one of my favorite premium tank right now at the moment that guy just fire at me so he can't be able to fire but that guy oh yeah that's that, that's actually the same tank is the other one but anyway like that, that, that's why we have hit point right that's why we keep hit point to this uh to this point of the game to the end to just drive in and then take every shell and then just farm damage at the end that would be pretty good all right aim time and chance will that help me to hit the straight fang s1 of course indeed accuracy aim time really really good this worker is such a good tank for sniping for driving around and wow we burnt him and we kill him secure my fourth kill to this game and wow so that's it that's the sta2 what a beauty beautiful tank and crazy vehicles as well well let's take a look at the result a little bit for this vehicle all right this tank uh so that game is an eight tanker game with a second mass of excellence as well well i don't grind the mass of excellence so that's the additional things for me thank you so much war gaming well 3400 and 68 damage there we managed to achieve the tanker snipers as well right top damage top experience with 1411 but this is actually the first game on the first day that it has been buffed this means that maybe that we cannot get ace tanker with this experience anymore right now in the live server who knows i don't know man uh Tell me in the, in the comment down below if you get 1,400 experience, you don't get Ace Tanker. Alright, and we make some profit with or without premium round and without boosters as well because we fire just a little bit of the heat round right to the back of the 257 right there. Wow, all in all, I love this tank before the buff and after the buff, it's just, it just crazy. I really like this vehicle so what do you think about this vehicle please tell me in the comment down below do you like this vehicle just before the buff or like after the buff you love this vehicle like how about that right and uh if you like the video feel free to like share subscribe if you want some more gameplay like this feel free to join me on the twitch.tv slash party good eye thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next battlefield bye bye